So it's Jeremy Bowers over here today with Coal Bank Preferred, and this is Katie Easterly. We wanted to share some live examples with you guys today of what it's like in the life of a hustler who got into real estate business, left her corporate job doing very, very well, and invested in herself when a lot of people out there want to do that, but they're just scared. What is that next step? As humans, we want to know what the next step is. And the best thing you can ever do is just find someone who's done it before, multiple people have done it before, and just trust it. Invest in yourself. We'll invest in 401ks, we'll invest in other people, but the last thing we typically do is invest in ourselves. And I'm really proud of what Katie's done to invest in herself. So Katie, what did you do before you got into real estate? Uh, right before real estate, I worked for a major pharmaceutical company in corporate procurement. Sounds really fun. It's really boring. <laughs> really boring. <laughs> What'd you do before that? And before that, I was in the Navy. Good. Served for six years. What did the Navy teach you? The Navy taught me structure and discipline. Um, so that that element of real estate has been most of the time has been very natural. Before you had the Navy, I always want to know this: Did you have that, or did they help enhance it? I definitely had it, but the Navy absolutely enhanced it, and. Um, there's a, another level of accountability that it brought to it. If you don't have structure or an outline, does it bother you? Yes. And why yes. is that? I've always been a very type A personality. I have to know what's coming next. I like to have control. Okay. Um, and structure and knowing how your day is going to go helps that. And if it doesn't and you don't have that schedule or you don't have that notebook, how I does your crazy. day differ? It's it's crazy and I, I feel like I lose control and I don't know what's what's gonna come next. I don't like it. So one of our things that I talk to a lot of agents about is that notebook, right? It's helped my wife, it's helped other agents, it's helped me manage real estate investments, the office, getting agents up and running, multiple rookies of the years. And all that said, be able to lose weight because I kept everything in front of me. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think a lot of people have that challenge that they don't want to have that notebook or they fight it and then once they get it, like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this earlier? What, what, what? I think it's easy to put it off. It's easy to say, oh, I'll do it next week or when you're supposed to plan Sunday night for your week, it's easy to go, oh, I just want to relax. I want to watch TV. I want to, it's easy to put it off. But then if you start your week without that structure and without that greater plan of what you need to accomplish, um, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't feel good. There's one thing you and I don't get back, which is time, right? Yeah. So yeah. It, when you work in a day, this is interesting, do you worry about tomorrow or do you worry about how much you can get in today? Like, do you, you know, like, how do you, how, how's your mindset work that way? It depends on the goal. Okay. So like one of the things we do in the notebook is have the short term, you have the short term and the midterm. Yep. And at the top you list out your long term yep. goals. And so it depends on which one I'm focusing on at the moment. If, if there's something, just an example, if I have a settlement that week, I'm gonna be focused pretty day to day on what's happening, what's going on, what are those tasks I have to do to get that deal across the finish line. But at the same time, I have on my notebook at the top my goals of I need to hit 20 my first year, I need to hit 40 and then 60, I need to do three flips next year. So I have these greater goals in mind while executing on my daily tasks. So she has the big picture, but then she has the daily actions and habits which yeah. will get you to the big picture. Exactly. Is that fair? You don't lose weight overnight, you don't change overnight, it's right. the daily little things you do. So you're new to the business, how much business do you think you'll do this year? This year, if it goes to plan, I should get over $7 million okay. in my first year. Good. So what's pretty cool is there's a couple people fighting for Rookie of the Year, and they're probably going to be in this office, which would be the last person, Stafford or Katie, which I just absolutely love seeing that again. Before that, we had Todd Miller and Keith Chata. And the third wild card in there is this lady named Tandra Bowers. But don't worry, she doesn't work in this office. She works in the suburbs. We don't compete here, and I'm not allowed to sell real estate. But I truly believe one of these two people are going to win it, which is very, really cool to see. What do you like, Katie, most about the atmosphere? What struck me the most when I first came here um, was just how much this team works together. Truly. I mean, I've, I've been in for one year this month. And when you first come to Coldwell, they assign you a mentor who helps you officially through your first three deals. I had a question yesterday. I've been I've been in this business for a year. I've I blew past those first three deals with my mentor. I think at other companies, 
that mentor may have fallen off the map. Absolutely. I called mine yesterday, and we bounced ideas and talked through a challenge. Who's your mentor? Cherie Swinton, who's awesome. Why do you think she cares so much? I think she loves what she does. She loves to mentor and help new agents, too. And um, I think the love of her work translates to the team as well. Yep, it's a fair statement. What would you say impact-wise that you've taken the most advantage of here at the office? In terms of resources? Anything. Throw it out there. Training, um, boot camp, atmosphere, Boot camp whoever. was great because I, I did come from a different industry entirely, so I was, I've always been interested in real estate, but I had no idea where to start. And boot camp helped to just set that foundation. So when I came out, I knew exactly what I needed to be doing to build my structured day. But more importantly, I think the office, I think having you as a resource for the accountability to follow through. What, the, what did task. we work on for a period of time? So one thing we worked on when I first got here, uh, when I was in the military, I had to wake up early and work out every day. It's part of the routine. It's built into your work day. But when I got out, I started to get lazy and I would go work out later in the day or in the evening, but it was never consistent. So what we worked on when I first got here was getting me back into that morning routine. So now I'm I'm up a little bit before six and at the gym by six a.m. How does yeah. that make you feel? Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, what tip would you give to the general real estate business in the Philadelphia marketplace right now? Why should they just take a free test drive for forty-five minutes and grab a lunch or uh, stop over the office to meet with me and mastermind about the real estate business? What would you say? Why why should they do it? I think that there are too many people, especially in corporate America, and this is why I left. There are people who are coasting in these jobs that they hate, and they get up every day, they do the same thing, they don't grow, they don't develop, and they just resign themselves to a life of 30 years of drudgery. And I think if you don't like what you're doing, you owe it to yourself to take a leap and to try it. You have to. What's the you worst case that happened? Worst, I mean, worst case, of it, if you flop, you go try something else. You can always go back to corporate America if you want to, but I think a lot of people who really make the leap and try and give it their best effort, they, you can surprise yourself. I read a stat there today said over 80% of the population in corporate America don't like their jobs. Right, they hate it. They hate it. So you owe it to yourself to be happy and to try something that's going to challenge you. So my tip would be instead of investing in a corporation, invest in yourself and build your business. And what we do uniquely here is we let the agents build their own business. Most business models want to throw you on a team and get you to build their brand. I believe there's a different model out there. Let's go find the hustlers and let them build their brand, operate as one team as a whole company, but let them build their own business and get more out of life because I believe they deserve it. If you're one of those people who are unhappy in corporate America, working under a corporation where you want to change your life, you want to talk for 45 minutes, hit me up, 215-370-9107 or just type Jeremy Bowers on YouTube. Katie, how do they get in touch with you? It's Kay Easterly at cbpref.com, and my cell is 267-902-2454.